Here's a quick demonstration of how you can easily customize a Photobax template, in this case using our new free download here. And I'm also going to use some of our Romance and Valentine digital backdrops. It's an all new series you can get at photobax.com. So with these two backgrounds, I can easily change the entire look of this template in seconds. So I'm going to start out here with my template open along with the backgrounds. And I've merged a couple of the layers here to make it easy in this demonstration. But to start, I'm going to take my Move tool here in Photoshop, click on my background layer, and then I'm all set. Go to a background I want to use, and I'm going to just take that layer here and drag it right into the template workspace. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to hold down Shift on my keyboard, and that's going to center that backdrop right into place in that template. So when I let go of my mouse button here, you'll see the backdrop goes right in, right above that background layer, because I had that selected before. So I'm going to rename this layer here as background number two. And I'm going to add a third background to this template just to give me some more options. So I'm going to come over here to this backdrop, do the exact same thing, hold down shift, and just drag it right into the template workspace. And it centers right up and goes in perfectly. Let's rename this layer as well to background number three. So I don't need these open anymore, so I'll just close those out. And now I've got the template with the backgrounds I want to use. Now, of course, this doesn't look great just yet, but I can change anything in this template to make it work for the photo I'm using. Let me turn off these layers and just show you that we can see the original layer is still there. And by clicking on the visibility icons, we can see our different options that we've added to the template. So I'm going to start with this layer here just to get an idea of what this could look like and see if this is the background I want to use. That frame is pink right now. It doesn't really look great with this new backdrop. So all I'm going to do here is go to our frame with color picker layer. This is a unique layer we added to this template. All you do to change that frame color is double click that icon on that layer and just go ahead and pick a new color from your color picker here. You can also come over here to the template itself and pick different colors and you'll see that that frame changes depending on where I click inside of the photo or on the template itself. So we can find a really nice looking color that matches and then just come over here and say OK and you have a neat look. And of course anything including the photo can be customized to look different inside of this template. Let's take a new background that we added and see what that looks like. We'll click on that and you'll see that it looks great as well but that frame again doesn't really look perfect so I'm going to do the same thing. Double click that color layer color picker icon and just come over here and try to pick out something else that I like that may look better. You know, it's not really working perfectly. So I have another option here for this frame layer, and that is to change the blending mode. So I'm going to make sure I have that layer selected and come over here to our blending modes and just click on that and go to overlay. And that's going to place a nice blend of this frame on top of my background. So I'm going to select overlay. You'll see what it did. If I zoom in here really close, you're going to see, whoops, let me go back to overlay there. Let me just zoom in real quickly and show you that you can see the layer below it coming through. But the color isn't really perfect. It's really too red for me in this case. So I'm going to double click and change that color to something a little more subdued. So it really just kind of blends in nicely like that. So let me just zoom out and show you the difference here. So it has a nicer blend to it. We can go ahead and continue to pick to pick out exactly what we want in this case and have it look really nice with the photo that we're using. So that's a quick demonstration of different ways you can customize the Photobacks templates using digital backdrops that we offer as well from Photobacks.com to mix with your templates. You can always have something perfect for the photo that you're working on.